Wyatt chasing down the Lambo. Getting the point by from the Lambo. He's gonna go off the track there. Welcome everyone. Today we're gonna be talking about this Lotus behind me and tuning it with an adjustable sway bar. I need a front sway bar really bad in this car. I'm getting a little too much oversteer. Definitely need some more front roll stiffness. Now this is the stock sway bar that came out. We have one hole there. There's no adjustment. The sway bar under the car has five holes of adjustment. And when it comes to adjustable sway bars, five holes is a lot better than one. And now many of the men out there may not know what to do with five holes. And that allows me to adjust the roll stiffness of the car as I tune it and test it on the racetrack. So when I first tested this car, I took it out to Auto Club Speedway. One of the notes I made in the video was that the car had too much oversteer. If we address that issue with the roll stiffness by increasing the front roll stiffness, we can end up with a faster car. So I headed out to Button Willow because Button Willow is a racetrack where the car is constantly loaded up. This guy is pretty quick. Yeah, no, I still have way too much oversteer in this car. Did you see that around that corner? It just doesn't want to grip. So I stiffened up the bar. If you put it on a hole that's out towards the end of the bar, it will be softer in roll stiffness. And if you move it inward, you're gonna be stiffening the roll stiffness. I ended up going to the stiffest setting before getting the desired results. And when I got there, the car handled beautifully. Now, the biggest limitation with this car is the factory suspension. The dampers are not great on this car, and so I placed an order with JRZ to build me a custom set of dampers. They're gonna be mailing that over in a few weeks, and we will put those on and test the car out again. Here is one lap with the tuned Lotus ripping around Button Willow Raceway. That was fun. So even with the uh, big old front sway bar, I get the car to step out still. So it's not like we killed the character of the Elise with the bigger sway bar. We just took advantage of the tires that we put on the front. There we go. There, there was some understeer. Probably uh, overdoing it on the turn in there. <laughs> Barely holding on to the pavement there. Woo hoo hoo! Holy sh! My low battery warning came on the iPhone. Had to turn that off. Very important. We want to see what lap time we get here. There it is, folks. I think that's all we got today is a 202. Honestly, not bad for the stock Lotus Leaf suspension with the addition of a front sway bar. That is a, that is a pretty quick lap time. I had some wheel spin on the corner exit there. And I do not have a limited slip differential in this car. And it shows. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you enjoy your car.